Hello, welcome to this tutorial where we will teach you how to use the T-Band S2 for IOL to link up with uh, RFID read head with IO link functions. Okay, so first of all, we're going to log in to the T-Band S2 IOL. Okay, bye. And the first thing we will need is the IP address. So if you know your IP address, that is good. If you forgot about it, you can use your third service tool, which can be downloaded over the internet. Search for it. Search for devices connected to your computer. And you can see over here, the devices, the device is uh, found with this IP address, okay? So you can key it, the IP address into the your web browser. Okay, so uh, please remove the, if your browser automatically adds HTTPS, please remove the S and continue on. Okay, so now you come to this, you come to this page, the landing page for the website. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is actually go to parameters. Okay, and we are going to reset the whole device to factory setting. Why are we doing this? That's because uh, the device may contain uh, parameters from a previous user which uh, might mess with your new usage. Okay, so we're gonna reset it back to the original so you can. I will show you what's the bare minimum you need for RFID usage. So go up and log in with the password, which is password. Okay, the password is password. Log in. Okay, and then you can see factory reset, execute. Okay, so after you is yes, after you factory reset, right? You need to visit the device at its default IP address. Okay, which is uh one one two one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot two five four. If you forgot, there's always a top service too. So now you're back to the landing page. Okay, go log in. Yeah. Also, it's password. Okay. And then you can go to the parameters. Okay, we're going to set the IP address back to uh, whatever you want or back to what it used to be. Okay. So for me, I think it's to 17. Okay. So now, once it's done, you can. Oh, okay, yes, yeah, uh, okay, so, okay, yeah, now you are back to the website, okay, so, first thing, you can go to the IODD configurator, okay, and it will load your device on whatever port you're using. Okay, for example, my I was my RFID with head is connected on port one. Okay, so you it actually shown on the page itself. Port one is connected to TNQ forty IO ring two. Okay, so uh you may or may not uh get this page. Uh, so if you do not have it, uh there's a there's a button that says uh, get it from the internet and you just click it and it, it will update the page to something like this. Okay, so let me adjust the thing. So next step, okay, the first thing we're going to try to get is the process data. Okay, so all of your, uh, your relevant uh, data from the sensor will be under this section. Okay, the parameters will be here and the data, the things that it sends will be here process data okay so now that you are at the process data page okay it's split into two sections one is for the inputs so these are what these are inputs that is received whatever the sensor sensed okay so all of your uh all the data will be stored over here in this section so then this output is the commands that you can gonna give to the sensor. Okay, so we're gonna try reading the 
UID of the RFID. Okay, so just click the command, change it to UID, and then you can write. Okay, so while this is at UID, you can see I have a RFID card over here. You can see the uh you can see the U the UID of the RFID card. Okay, and then if I scan it, you'll see you'll be able to see the data over here. Hey, disappear. <laughs> okay. Uh yeah, so this uh this we hit uh likes to refresh its uh, command state especially after it successfully uh, execute its command so you need to uh, set it to the state that you want okay so okay so you can go to uid you write it in and then you will scan it okay actually so once you have the result can see let me save the result for you okay okay, oh. okay. uh you can see the results are saved over here okay uh the uid of the rfid card i chose to use it uh contains at six it contains eight bytes okay and you can see from over here okay yeah these are the bytes that is con uh that source the data okay so it looks totally different from the one on my card the written on my card okay but it's actually if you convert these uh, decimal numbers into hex uh hexadecimal you will get the same result okay so let me bring up my excel and uh, show you the, the result okay so start excel okay we can key in the number we can key in the number two two four four one eighty one nine six one one four two three three four one six five okay and then you can key in a formula okay back to facts okay okay click on okay click on the road the cell you want to convert Finish your closing bracket and then if you drag it down you will get okay you will get this result so if you compare it to the card okay it is just nice e0 04 01 50 c4 72 ea a5 okay so you have successfully gotten the uid of the readhead itself okay so now okay so now for reading of the data you can go over here okay so we're gonna try uh uh oh okay, sorry we're gonna start with uh, writing the data first because right now there is <laughs> the RFID has the RFID tag has no data inside. Okay, if you're gonna read it with no data, it will just come out as zero. So I'm gonna write something inside and go. So you can actually bring up your write, change it to a write function, and then MB block. What is this MB block? Okay, so okay to check the meaning of your MB block, go to uh, go to the third website, look for the data sheet, the manual, right? Concern for your bit head, okay? For the read head that you're using, okay? And then this is the manual, okay? Okay, there will be this page uh, on page 17, which talks about the meaning behind the IO link data. 
So over here you have the NB where it uh, okay sorry output okay we go to the output MB block is actually the number of memory blocks. So depending on the RFID tag that you're using, uh, the length of the blocks, right, might be, eh, uh, what's that? The data might need a different uh, NB setting, okay? So for example, if you're using, if your uh, RFID tag uh, uses EE prompt memory, then you'll come, uh, your data will be in blocks of four bytes, okay? And you can have a max, you can, the maximum number you can add in is seven. Similarly for FRAM, yeah, you can just read the uh, data sheet and it'll be eight bytes per block and max of three blocks. So, uh, yeah, so if anything you're unsure of, please refer back or oh, to the manual for the IFID read head, okay? So, so now, okay, so I'm going to, uh, my, my RFID tag, it's using EEPROM uh, memory, so, and I want to write 8 bytes to it. So I will need a length of 4, eh, sorry, I need a length of 2. Okay, so I'm going to length of 2. ADD, that's the address, the starting address of your memory space in the RFID tag. So you can actually add, uh, more memory than eight bytes, or if you, for example, if you using all seven, that will be like twenty eight bytes. But if you can actually add more than that, depending on your RFID tag, some RFID tag can go up upwards of, uh, hundred and twenty eight bytes of memory. Okay, so if you max it out now at reach twenty eight, you can just after you can just tell it to go to start from the 29th byte and carry on and you'll save over there. That's how to use it, but uh, we're not, because we're going to start from zero first. So, because we want to start from zero, so the answer will input zero inside the setting. Okay. So, I'm going to put one one two two three three four four five five six six seven seven eight eight okay okay so now input the data you want i have eight bytes of data okay the starting address the length the command and then you need okay you need to change the start state okay so every time you run a command okay we go back to the manual every time you run a command you must change the state from one to zero or zero to one to tell that you have a new you tell the RFID head you have a new command you want to execute. Okay. So right. And then put your card near the reader. Okay. Put a card near the reader. Okay. So once it's done, you can see my data is still zero. So now I'm gonna read our data out. I'm gonna change to read. Okay. This one you don't need to remove. Okay, change it to read mode. And then we got, I want to read eight bytes of data, which is two blocks of memory. And we're gonna tell it to start. So you write, and then you wait for your thing. And you scan it. And you can see your data is over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Okay, so that's the end of the demo. Okay, uh, enjoy using your new RFID read head. Thank you.